Listen up. If it's Sigismund and his army, prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Hey, you men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalax. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jim has sent to Scalax to spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Good luck to you. Who else, Robert? Sir Antig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Dimish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used huh? to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. <laughs> I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish? Make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. Hold it. <laughs> I've seen you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people too. These are dark times. Move out! Anywhere, people! Move out! Don't get shot away right there now! Hello, Hanish.
What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are key. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help you. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Farewell. God be with you. What do you think about the Scarlet's folk? It's an inevitable thing. First, everyone is shitting themselves that Sigismund is coming, and then it turns out like this. Praise the Lord they got out of the siege. Scarlet's castle is well fortified, all right, but I hear Sigismund's army is huge, and facing him is suicide. Sir Radzig did the right thing. I'm sorry you didn't all manage to get away. So am I. May God use your plan. Thank you. I reckon that Sir Radzik must be a good man. Not really. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's worth. I will. Thank you. Jesus Christ be praised. What do you think about how the Scarlet's folk managed to flee the siege? Thank the Lord. I thought it was Sigismund descending on us. It seems everyone thought that. Well, we were all expecting the worst. And the truth is, I'm still worried what will happen when Sigismund comes here. And come he will, of that I'm sure. I just hope we'll be as fortunate when we're face to face with that fucker. By the way, Henry, my condolences. Thank you. Take care. Jesus Christ be praised. What do you think about that surprise during the night? I was surprised, all right. <laughs> I'm glad them people were saved, though. I'm just as glad it weren't Sigismund. For sure he'll come here in the end, too. But now at least we've got time to get ready for him. Maybe he'll leave Talmberg Bay. Maybe, maybe not. Could be he was only out to get Sir Radzik, because he's Wenceslas' headman. The Scarlets is a rich town, so there was plenty of loot for the taking two birds with one stone. So he might be satisfied and leave us alone. Reckon we'll see soon enough one way or the other. Hmm. By the way, Henry. It is Henry, ain't it? I was sorry to hear about your parents. They've gone on to better things. Farewell.
Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. Oh, That's the bastard who let the attack at Scullis and killed my parents. An idiot! Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what, then, do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Skalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Ratzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Skalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then? that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg, and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen.
God be with you. Take care. Could do with a bite to eat. Jesus Christ be praised. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Sir Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair, him and Wenceslas's cousin Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? I suppose... Because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favoured it? Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas' most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Where did these Cumans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Good luck to you. Looks like it's I gonna suppose. be a good year for the apples. 
All right, can we move in for it? Yeah.